So you got your first UFC win. How does that feel for you? Oh, it feels fantastic. Um, you know, whenever you start doing the, the sport of MMA, this is the league you want to be in. This is the place to be. And uh, to get in here was uh, nerve-wracking, but it feels fantastic to get the win, especially on my first time. How did you feel about your performance in any way? Did you feel those jitters that everyone talks so, about? You know what? I, I have a training partner named Francisco Rivera, and he told me about them. And I thought, just for some reason, I was special. And I would get them. It is so different than there. Uh, I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe the lights, the, the the professionalism. I don't know what it is. It's just you feel so nervous. I was so gun shy. Um, I'm, gl I'm, I'm glad I got the win. But uh, next time I come, you're going to see a different person. In that first round, you seemed to have a little bit of uh, adversity there, just trying to close the distance. But you shook it off, came back in the second two. What really made the difference? You know, I was starting to listen to my coaches. We had a, a game plan to uh, to narrow him in and, and get him closer to the cage. Uh, that being said, he, after probably after like hundreds of times he yelled it out I finally started like you know uh, thinking clearly and uh, cl you know doing a certain style like two to the left one to the right slowly closing him into the cage just took a while to, to hear him when did the nerves leave you the nerves ne never really left but it got to at least to a point like I say middle of the first where I could just start hearing my corners a little more um, but it, it still it still got to me but at least I could hear every so often like you know some of the instructions they were saying you seem to be able to take advantage there of some of his kicks when he threw that wheel kick and you were able to catch on to that and push into your game and, and dominate from there in that round. How did how were you able to find his timing? You know what? Um, we we looked at a video of him uh, several times and we planned uh, the footwork for that. So we were trying to take away that particular uh, strength of his. So that's why we were circling into his right hand power, power hand. Um, and so when he did do that, it just took so long to get there that it gave me enough time to take advantage of the situation. But um, that was just from preparation. You, you mentioned your training partner, Francisco Rivera. He was supposed to fight on this card, and yeah. he was injured. Was that kind of a bummer to you coming oh, out here? Oh, definitely. Uh, when that happened prior to me getting the call, so, you know, uh, as, a, as a team, you know, we were kind of bummed about the situation, especially he was going to go against a tough guy. But after that, there was a lot of hope for him getting up to that title shot. So it, it was a bummer. Uh, and then, you know, I got we got a small blessing by getting me an opportunity to get into the big show. So. That, that was. Talk about your team and your coaches. Who, exactly who are you working with? I, I work with Giuliano Prado, uh, Adriano Paella, uh, and Eddie Cha. Uh, all in MMA, Total MMA Studios. Uh, one, you know, we, we do MMA in both camps, but um, they just have a different style to each. Each one has a different style. One's more stand-up based, one's more ground, and um, together they're just awesome. You know, uh, I couldn't ask for a better camp. You know. did, did any of his stuff get through and, and hurt you at all? Or did you block most of it? You know what? I want to say the last kick hurt. You know, I don't know if the adrenaline just had went down or something, but I was like, oh, I shouldn't get kicked anymore, you know. Uh, but uh, the first ones I just couldn't feel. I don't know if it was just the adrenaline was so high my first time. But, uh, yeah, only until the very end, the last kick in the third round, I was like, oh, I'm going to hurt. <laughs> I don't know if anybody asked this earlier, but were you surprised when you started to hear Bruce call it out that it was going to be a split? You know what? I know... No, I was. I didn't. I, I thought to myself that he had won a round. I thought that I had won a round, and that that third round was kind of close. So I, I figured it was something to that degree. I just figured I got a couple more. I, I felt. I really felt that in the third round we could have done more, um, and I just thought maybe I got a couple more late kicks. But then he got like a, two punches at the end of the round. So I was kind. I don't even know what was going to happen at that point. But I could see the judges. I you know, view. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you guys.